to admitting to it. Uh, yeah, that's fantastic. We actually do have a, a pending investigation looking into that compromise. And what was his name? Yeah, it was a by, death. Was, it was, okay. um, he goes by the moniker to Wong's, T E H W O N G Z. Um, he is the face behind CSL Sec, Can't Stop Laughing Security, which is a sort of uh, lull sec wannabe group. There's only three people in it. Um, and he's, um, uh, he's just a pain in the bum. He's currently a subject of uh, West Midlands uh, police who have been dealing with him. Uh, we have a copy of his hard drive here, which we're uh, just starting to have a look at. But um, uh, again, another another juvenile, another wannabe type character. But if you're um, whoever has got your operation, if they want to fire me an email, I'll put them in touch with our intel cell, and we're trying to find who's got interest, and we can get you a copy of this statement, see if it makes sense. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, I know they would appreciate it. It's our Baltimore office that's uh, leading the charge on that one. Okay. So I will uh, make sure I'll put you two in contact. Did he indicate who he was uh, working with or any other Nicks that he associates with? Yeah, there's one called Grandma Wongs, uh, and there was one other which has gone out the top of my head off there. Um, now, I can't remember what the third one was. Uh, who are his little group of friends? Whether they're online friends or actually three-dimensional friends, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, he, uh, he does... He, he, Gives the two two sides of um, our A4 um, description of how he's got involved, what he's done. Uh, looks like he's sort of almost cleaning the slate now that he's sort of uh, come to notice the police. I suspect uh, a smack from mum or dad is behind it all. Right. Uh, is he uh, looking at any charges uh, on your side? Um, it's up in the air at the moment. If he has done the steam job, then it might be one that we would look at taking on from uh, a PECU point of view. Um, but if it is um, just more of him bragging, um, we would probably leave it with the local police, who actually at the moment don't have an awful lot of interest in him. Okay. But um, if, um, uh, I suppose we need to speak to the Baltimore office and see what the, um, uh, the story is behind the, uh, the attack and what damage was actually done, really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for that. That's right. Uh, anything else? Um, no, I don't think so at the moment. I think uh, nothing from you, Matt. Nothing. No. <laughs> no, we're, I mean, we're still, we're still, um, we've got a, a server to get from the, um, uh, from the Germans. And um, oh, one thing I was going to ask, I don't know. Um, what your liaison's been with the Irish, but uh, we've been speaking with the Irish around Palladium and Porn Source um, and uh, looking to share some intelligence with them uh, and some information on that. I don't know if they're in on this call. I don't. Is anyone on from uh, Ireland? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to assist or take our job very much further, but. Um, uh, probably worth getting back in touch with them from your side because uh, I think they've got stuff that they could share. Okay. All right. Uh, and I suppose the, the final thing that I've got is we got the final forensic report from the guys at the USAF um, who had a look at Ryan Cleary's hard drive. Um, and I don't know whether it's been disseminated amongst you guys or not, but um, it's worth reading. It's, it stretches to 325 pages, not including their notes, um, and it's um, it's quite a thorough piece of work, needless to say. Um, we're quite impressed with it. So I don't know if you've, um, you've seen it or not, but you've got some fellows out there who've, who've done a cracking job around that. Okay. All around the Pentagon one. All right, I'll check that out. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, okay, uh, LA, do you have anything? Uh, not much other than uh, what we were sending to um, the Met through Bruce, if you haven't seen it yet, Bruce, who's going to be a uh, EC coming through your way. Just connecting okay. Sharpie with um, Kayla and possibly T-Flow. Uh, he might have been using the moniker Cronus uh, a year and a half ago, two years ago. 
just some more logs that we would like the Mets to go through because they haven't had enough of that yet. <laughs> so are you saying that Cronus was T-Flow or Sharpie? Uh, T-Flow is what it looks like. Yep, no, we've, we've seen Cronus before and we've, we've sort of made the assumption it was T-Flow. Okay. Excellent. Um, so other than that, uh, I think that we're just waiting for uh, Cleary's ISB. That's that's about it. But it looks like we might have a little bit more time to wait on that. Yeah, uh, the this is the stuff on the MLAT that was dealt with by our extradition squad. Yeah, yeah. We're still trying to chase that up. I, I, I mean, I can only apologise. I don't know why that's not with you. Um, last I heard, it was going back before the magistrate to be signed off to come back to you. Um, which is what happens when we are asked to do inquiries on other people and it's not already in part of our uh, investigation. But I will trace that up for you. Yeah, no worries. I figured something just went through bar. We're just looking for the ISP. You know, his his house went to that IP address, or the IP address went to the house. That's it. So we'll we'll wait for that. No worries. That's it for LA. Okay. Did anyone join on late? All right, that was a quick call. Uh, we'll plan on uh, meeting uh, again on a regular day on Monday next week. And uh, thanks a lot for everyone for joining us. No problem. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good. Good.